morning, YouTubers. Mississippi Bassmaster here, Steve Goss Jr. Uh, just want to make a few videos for you guys and uh, going to explain what we did in the video. This particular video, me and my wife went to Pickwick. We stayed for four days and we're actually going to make two videos out of the trip uh, from two different days we had. We had pretty good days. We didn't just slaughter fish, but we managed to, on this particular day, best five fish was over 15 pounds so it was a pretty good day uh, we were dealing with high water conditions and with the river and if you guys have ever fished Pickwick you know that the, the lake changes with the river so the water was steady falling out of there uh, it was really really high and the fish were up in the bushes so basically we were flipping and pitching most of this day uh, to catch all the fish that we caught and uh, go-to bait was the rage bug. This is a Strike King rage bug. Green pumpkin in color. It's a four inch bait. I was using a half ounce uh, Titan tungsten flipping weight. Um, we were dealing with some pretty tough conditions. They were pre-spawned, some spawning, but they were moving up in the shallow water and then that water started falling out so the fish started kind of falling out of the shallow water with the water. Uh, it was a lot of heavy wind uh, these particular days the water temperature was about 61 to 64 during the daytime it was uh, you know it would warm up into the 70s but at night these particular days the temperature was dropping down into the low 40s so it was just back and forth and just like I said it was really making for tough fishing conditions uh, my wife, of course, was having a hard time flipping because she don't have that much experience in it. But we did manage to catch some fish. First day, we, you know, we kind of scouted around and found a few fish, and then second day we actually caught some. Third day, which is going to be a separate video on chatterbaits, we caught a good bit more. Caught closer to a 17-pound bag, and uh, it was just, it was just a tough, it was tough trip. The water going up and down past two trips have been up there it's been seven feet high and then you know it falls three or four feet in several days and the fish are just up and down up and down up and down but uh it's almost getting good up there if they ever leave the water alone we plan on going back this is uh we're going back the 30th april the 30th through may the 3rd and hopefully the water will be right and everything will be good and uh we can we can make some better videos for you guys but i hope you enjoy this video and once again pitching and flipping up in those bushes with a rage bug four inch green pumpkin color half ounce titan tungsten weight flipping weight and of course lose right reels uh p-line 15 pound p-line cxx line i'm a firm believer in it uh, any cover I use, I, that is just some tough line. You, you guys heard me talk about it before, and uh, it has a, it don't have a whole lot of memory because it's a mix between fluorocarbon and mono, which is a fluorescent, I believe, is what they call it. Once again, 15 pounds. Um, anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Found some new music I'm gonna try to add in there. You guys, thanks for y'all's subscriptions. Thanks for your support, supporting me and my family. Uh, I got two of my boys here off camera. Y'all can't see. They're, they're always part of it, uh, whether they're in the videos or not. And my wife's going to start doing a little more fishing with me. So for the women out there that want to see women catch fish, we're hoping we can have a little better circumstances next time where she can more of her style of fishing, chatterbaits, baits, and, you know, worms, something like that. that she can uh, actually get to the fish because if you're a fisherman like me and you know when you're pitching and flipping tight cover it's it's hard uh, especially with two people in the boat unless you're both on the front of the deck and unfortunately my wife can't swim so she never gets out of the chair and I wish I would have filmed some of the uh, some of the actual action of the four and five foot waves we were in because she don't like to go fast and that was the first time she's ever been on big water in 20 mile an hour wind so let me tell y'all it was uh <laughs> it was an experience uh, but i think i broke her i think she's good now after uh, we come out of the water you know four foot 
a couple of times and she screamed at the top of the lungs. I think she uh, she got her nerves. So hopefully it'll get better from here. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Keep subscribing. Keep hitting that like button. Drop comments, guys. Anything you'd like to know, like to ask. Uh, places you might want to see us fish. Anything. Anything I can do to help a fellow angler. Tips, tricks. I know uh, I don't do a whole lot of commentary whenever I'm fishing, but normally when I get in that boat and I get that pole in my hand, I've got one goal, and that's to catch fish. So, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoy watching us. And uh, till next time, good luck. Tight lines. Peace out. God bless. They're all they're out here. They're not in the, they done moved back. The water's falling, they're falling. Not just a hung another one he got off. First fish of the day. La male buck. That's the start. Set the hook on. Oh, uh, Lillian. Huh? Definitely. Dropped him right on his head. Oh, it's a biggie. It's a biggie. It's 
a begging. It's a begging. It's a begging, people. It's a begging. Boat oh, flip a four pan. What's up, baby? Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. No, he's meant to come out. Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. I am so glad we came back here. But I would have so much rather you've caught that. They way out here. They, they way out here. That fish was way out here. Hmm? Get in. Take your time. You gotta give them. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Easy. Easy, killer. Easy. Flip him. Put your face mask down.